Shalene, first of all, we want to thank you for uh, for interviewing with us today. Just let, let us know who you are and okay. what you're doing. Okay. Hi, I'm Shalene Nightingale, and I'm running for governor in the state of California under the AIP, affiliated to the Constitution Party. We are grassroots. Uh, the media, as you know, which is controlled, is not going to put a third party, especially a constitutional candidate, on the news. So what we need is a grassroots effort. And I'm doing it because we, the people, have to step up. We have to start being bold. We cannot allow the elite to continue to control our government. And it, it's actually what the Founding Fathers wanted us to do. They wanted we, the people, to run our government, not elitists and, and corporations and unions to run it. King George, as well as our Founding Fathers, could you uh, tell us what that means to you and most Americans? Every student should be required to read the Constitution of the United States of America, the Bill of Rights, without it being dictated on what it means or doesn't mean by anybody else. Obama declared, we are going to change the Constitution. They don't hide behind what they're doing. Unfortunately, when you have a society where they're trying to indoctrinate us in the public school system, take over our media, they blind you over this fact. The Founding Fathers, though, they have great wisdom. I mean, they were for limited government. They were for, they were for against everything that we've become now. So it's very important that people find out what they believed in, because it gives us great wisdom on how we can get back to what they fought and how they fought tyranny and overcame it. And Christians, it's our responsibility to go out and look for true teachers, not false teachers. And, you know, really, that was what the Founding Fathers wanted. They didn't want government to take over religion. That's why they escaped King George. in 1789 or 1942 or 9-11 if a top government official stepped in front of the people and publicly proclaimed America was a nation of cowards he would have been run out of the country on a rail packaged in tar and feathered at least but that's what happened in 2009 and you did nothing have you become a nation of cowards America in the greatest show of arrogance and disdain any Congress ever showed any citizenry your dysfunctionally elite, self-interested, non-representing representatives passed the largest spending bill in history without reading it, and you did nothing. You want them to obey your constitutional mandate and secure your borders, and they ignore you. 
You ask them to enforce your immigration laws, and they ignore you. You say, stop the madness of handing $300 billion of a bankrupted treasury to illegal alien welfare, rewarding them for making a mockery of your laws, and they ignore you. And now an open defiance of the overwhelming will of the people are preparing more amnesty programs. You say, stop exporting my nation's vital industries to foreign shores, and they ignore you. You say no to using your money to bail out failed, corrupt, and greedy businesses, and they ignore you. You say implement the E-Verify system so American jobs go to American workers, and they ignore you. If your self-serving Congress were a business, they'd all be in jail now. The biggest traitors among you hold elective office. Only when they feel the almighty wrath of we the people marching in the streets from California to New York shouting we're mad as hell and we want our country back will they get the message they work for you. Wake up America while you were playing with the toys of your consumer wealth. You lost much more than your bloated economy of living beyond your means. You lost your representative democracy. Your servants have become your masters. Taxation without representation is tyranny. But still, you look to government to solve problems they created in the first place. You're sucking at the hind tit of a dead cow. Why isn't there a three million person We the People March on Washington? A nationwide taxpayers' revolt. Thousands of cars and trucks surrounding your nation's capital, bringing your failed government to a standstill. Democracy doesn't repress power. It unleashes it to We the People. Take it now. They dictated an economic salvation plan to you. Now it's time to stick it to them with a We the People stimulus package. Require all laws that apply to the rest of the country to equally apply to Congress. Start by first removing the elite privileges that place your non-representing representatives above you, not with you. Require all laws that apply to the rest of the country to equally apply to Congress. Repeal Congress's right to vote for their own raises. Balance the federal budget. Force your legislators to do what you now have to do. Live within your means. If you don't, you're committing national suicide. Make Congress pay into the Social Security system. They make laws for it. Now they might be interested in thinking twice before they allow 20 million illegal aliens to reap the benefits of a retirement program the legal citizens paid into all their lives. Long-term power corrupts. Limit Congress from serving more than two terms. That's all you give your president. Let them search for their own 401k plan instead of the gross unfairness of awarding them their full salary for the rest of their lives after only serving one term. Stop paying for lawmakers' insurance premiums. After all, they're only part-time employees. They might pass some laws on the insurance companies if they had to find one themselves. Throw out of office every congressman and woman who didn't bother to read the biggest spending bill in history before voting for it. With the money you save from all of the above, put it into increased salary and benefits for the men and women of the armed forces. They never fail you. Start no war unless you intend to win it. Make English the official language of America. You talk of united we stand, but do nothing to make it happen. Give every legal immigrant a chance to succeed. Not one cent of taxpayer money for illegal aliens. We are a nation of laws and do not reward lawbreakers. Abolish the Electoral College and put the election of the president back in the hands of we the people. Ensure your future. Rekindle the spirit of America. Service, honor, and duty to country. Give your young people a chance to understand they are entitled to nothing they don't earn. Wake up, America. You've allowed yourselves to become little more than cowering spectators, watching the nation your grandparents built, the richest, most powerful, most self-sufficient republic in history, with the highest standard of living any nation ever achieved, now in the middle of the greatest unprecedented decline in modern history. The world's only superpower can't defend its borders, balance its budget, win its wars, manufacture its own products, or protect its own currency. Your total government debt obligation in the next several years is approaching the gross domestic product of the entire world. You've diminished the future of your children, grandchildren, and ten more generations of Americans. On September 11, 2001, 300 million Americans put aside what divided them and rallied around what united them. You proudly flew your flags, wore t-shirts that said, these colors don't run. Then your leadership told you to do nothing. Let your professional army do the fighting. Perhaps you learned to do nothing too well. 233 years ago, the silent majority in Boston got fed up with taxation without representation and held a little tea party to prove the anger of we the people is on the march. 
It started the first American Revolution. Now it's time to start the second American Revolution. Take an envelope, put a tea bag inside. Simple. Seal it and send it to your non representing representatives in Congress. They'll get the idea. We're mad as hell and we want our country back. Look in your mirror. There's your leader. Phone your talk radio host. Call for a tax protest. Set your internet communities on fire with the idea. But if you decide to do nothing again, then buy a gun. You'll need it. My name is Thomas Paine. Don't give up hope, America. Your country needs a new greatest generation. Answer the call. Get into the fight. It's a good time to be a patriot. The second American Revolution has just begun.